life is like an open book And as I glance back through the pages Stan Joshua's Book of Life tells the story of a true blue Australian born in the very first year of a lusty new century and likely to see the start of another one. As Stan glances back through the pages, he likes to reflect on his favourite chapter, and that's the one about a grand old horse called Intangible Command, a trotter who won an amazing 17 races at Sydney's Harold Park, trained and driven in most of those wins by Stan Joshua, then well into his 60s. Of all the technological wonders of the 20th century, Stan's favourite is the video cassette recorder. All he's got to do is press the button and he can relive those wonderful nights with his old mate, Intangible Command. Intangible Command, three wide. Heroic lad behind them on the rails. Tambury, the further back, and Yamamoto. Into the straight, General on the outside of Uncanny. Intangible Command coming fast on the outside. General gets to the lead near the line. Intangible Command flashing up, though. Intangible Command first, General second, Uncanny third. Along came this marvellous old horse, Intangible yeah. Command, yeah. the one that we all remember you best yeah. for. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you and he were a formidable combination at Harold Park. So, yes. 17 wins at Harold Park, a yeah. terrific record. Yeah. He meant a lot to you, Stan, didn't he? Oh, the terrific, terrific. Was he a mate? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. But uh, I'll tell you what he'd done. Uh, he was a bit of a pet, you know, up the farm. And I'm playing around with him and he kicked me one day and hit me right there, knocked me, and I thought I'd broken my leg, you know. He kicked me properly, but luckily he had no shoes on. And they took me to the hospital and they put a ice net on and fixed it up in here. But other than that, you could do anything with him. You could sing out to him and he'd run up to you like a dog, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So is that the only time he ever did anything wrong? What, right. what made him kick you? What made him oh, do that? Oh, well, I think yeah, I was just playing around with him, you know, patting him between the legs and one thing or another. And he might have got a bit upset or something. That's the only time he showed any vice at all. There's just a hint of his 92 years as Stan climbs into the sulky, wearing the same old colours and the same old helmet that have carried the years almost as well as their owner. His mount here is an unraced three-year-old filly trained by his old friend Sam Agat, a mere slip of a lad at 90. He never bothered about paces. He just kept in the one line of the sport, trotting. Never, ne never, never had a pace up. So he had a he had a real passion for the square game. Yes, mm. yeah, he was a dedicated trotting man. He's a quietly spoken old man. Was he always uh, yes. of similar nature? Yes, never boisterous, never, you know, n never an overbearing type in any shape or form. No, ma no matter what what he won, he was just still Stan Joshua. It's been a long, long time. But for a man who was handling a horse and cart more than 80 years ago, it soon came back. How did that feel, Stan? All right. Good? Yeah. Well, now that you've had a little practice, we might go out onto the track. Right, eh? And jiggy-jog a couple of miles. What do you think? OK, yeah, right, eh? will make it so Just keep on wishing And cares will go It's no mistake And wishes are the dreams we dream When we're away Well, how was that? Good. All right. How did you pull up? Oh, a bit stiff and sore. You'd have to be. Yeah. yeah. It, that, that's bad business, that there. I don't like that. The ridge on the seat oh, stand? Oh, no, too Yeah. Hard, too. yeah. And, uh, Bounces too much. Yeah. It's a bad game. Now, as you went around that first lap, did it seem that all the years had passed? Oh, or, or did it seem like yesterday when you last drove Yesterday. Course? Really? Yeah, I could go around all of them up now to this afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I felt at home. Yeah. First spots I said good day to around there. I'll bet. <laughs> yeah. So as you were jogging around, Stan, the memories were flooding back? Oh, yes, certainly. Oh, yes. 
Oh, yes, yeah, so it hasn't changed to me, in my idea. Yeah. It's just the same thing where you made your run here and you made your run there and all the rest of it. Sure. Push the smoke out the road and so forth. Yeah. Horses are not the only thing this remarkable man still drives. Every Saturday afternoon, he takes his friend Judy Palmer for a quick burn to Petersham in suburban Sydney. There's not a trace of hesitancy, not a sign of nerves, as he guides his trusty little Gemini through traffic that would unnerve much younger men. Only once did he hit a hurdle with his driving test. I went out. It was my own fault. Now, there's little things they change in your test. Not putting your brake on. And uh, all this sort of rubbish. Bloody silly it is. And uh, I went out and, out and he wouldn't pass me. But he was a Yugoslav. The man that put me through the test. And I said, where do you come from? He said, Yugoslavia. Well, I said, I don't know a word you've said to me. I can't understand you. And he argued the point and so forth. He said, you can have another test. So I went and saw the boss. And I said, listen, that's not a fair go. I said, uh, I can understand him. And I said, I don't think you could either. So I said, next time I come, I want someone that can talk English. Mm. So he said, Stan, you come and see me and I'll give you an English one, which I did. And he put me through the test, the same thing. He said, we don't get them any better. The attraction at Petersham is the local RSL club, where Stan gets to display yet another talent. With Marie providing the music, and with Judy unable to dance, Stan pairs with Sylvia Graham and sets the boards on fire. I had a bit of fun at the dance. I gave them a bit of a squeeze and, and they enjoyed it too. As you're going around different dances, you know. And uh, What do you mean a bit of a squeeze? Well, when you, you elaborate go, on that, we might learn something. When you got them down around in the dance, you know, you got your arm around, you're squeezing, and uh, there's one or two of them that says, uh, oh, that's nice, you know. <laughs> I said, would you rather have a dance or a squeeze? She said, a squeeze. <laughs> yeah, a bit of fun with them. What if we agreed to come back and do this interview again when you turn 100? Well, uh, yeah, that's on the cards, I suppose. Would that's you? on the cards. I wonder if we could get you into the gig again. Oh, well, you'd have to lift me in, I should imagine. <laughs> for a bit of a struggle. That's the first time I put my leg over a gig for, oh, good, long while, long while. A long one. Line out wide, Intangible Commander's gone to the lead. Intangible Command first, Travis Way second. That's what life is all about.